We have this uh, board in front of us here, and I'm going to walk through how we got to this point. Uh, we have two players. Uh, one player has uh, Ace King, and that player is all in. The other player has Jack Ten of Clubs, and that player decides to call. I'll walk through how we got there. Uh, Preflop, Ace King uh, about five, and Jack Ten called, so the pot was ten. On the flop, Ace King bet ten. Jack Ten suited called. Uh, that made the pot thirty, and on uh, the turn. Ace King went all in for the last twenty dollars, and uh, Jack Ten pondered it for a while and decided to make the call for twenty. And we are at this point right here. Uh, Jack Ten has a huge uh, straight draw, straight flush draw, and uh, flush draw. Now uh, we have uh, Jack Ten has made uh, risking twenty dollars to win fifty, and we're going to look at it from Jack Ten suited's perspective. So we got uh, $20, Jack 10's putting in, and a $50 pot. And we want to know, is the call worth it, or is it worth it? Okay, uh, the total pot here is 70, and we got that number by taking the 20 that Jack 10 is risking, and the total pot of 50, so the total pot is 70. And we want to know, is it worth it odds-wise? Okay, well, uh, we know there are 52 cards in a deck. And uh, if we count out here on the board and the two players holdings that we know, uh, we know that uh, eight, we have eight cards here that have been removed from the deck. So we subtract eight cards. And that leaves us with uh, 44 uh, total cards left. Now, uh, how many winners does uh, Jack-10 have? So we want to know exactly, you know, how many times does Jack-10 win? Well, there's one card to go, so this will be fairly straightforward. Uh, well, there's uh, four queens, there's uh, four sevens, and there are nine uh, clubs uh, left in the deck. Uh, obviously, we don't count the jack and ten of clubs or the nine and eight of clubs. Now, uh, one caveat here is that we do not want to double count the queen of clubs or the seven of clubs, uh, because you don't want to double counter out, so we have to we can't just simply add the 9 to 4 and a 4, because uh, that will give us too many outs. Uh, after we go through all this caveat and stuff, we calculate that we have uh, 15 cards that can win for Jack-10 suited, and uh, 29 that don't win or that lose. So Jack-10 wins uh, 15, ti or 15 times, and 29 times Ace-King wins. Now we want to calculate Jack-10's odds. Well, we take that 15, the number of times he went, and we divide it by 50, 44, the uh, total number of cards left, and 15 divided by 44 is equal to uh, approximately 0.34. So uh, Jack-10 suit is going to win about one-third of the time here, a little more than that, but approximately one-third of the time. And we want to know, did Jack-10 make a good call? What is Jack-10's uh, turn hand value? Well, if we take this 34 number and we look at this uh, total pot of 70, okay, well, Jack 10's hand is worth uh, 0.34 times 70 on the turn, so we multiply those numbers together and we get a total of uh, $23.86, which is greater than the uh, $20 uh, Jack 10 uh, put in. So in this case, uh, Jack-10 suited is going to get a return of approximately 19%, and they are on their $20. Now they are risking, or they're going to lose approximately 66% of the time. So uh, if you want to get into volatility and stuff, uh, okay, maybe this isn't the best strategy from a volatility standpoint. It is positive EV. Now, if you'd like, uh, I have some other videos on uh, how to calculate uh, volatility or, or standard deviation uh, and risk like that. If you just click on the poker playlist in the top right-hand corner. Uh, now, uh, one other caveat before we uh, get out of here. If we look at uh, Ace King's turn value, when Ace King put the last $20 in, Ace King's hand is worth uh, 46.14 on the turn. Uh, compare it to Jack 10's value of 23.86, but in in this case, uh, both players were uh, positive EV to uh, or equity value uh, to uh, make the put the money in on the turn there, and uh, that essentially uh, wrap wraps up our quick overview of uh, how to calculate uh, different types of poker odds and situations like that. Thank you for watching.